welcome back. Happy 2019. Today we are joined by a special guest who is Mr. Carl Weber. You'll know him from such things as I Touched Your Tiny Volume 2. I've, I've watched it. Good. I've watched up to that 37. Okay. <laughs> uh, and we also have Mr. Jason Bond. And Mr. Kenman David. Six, 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 six. 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 Um, on to our first game for the new year, which is ways to solve the January problem. What are your ideas to get through this tough month, which seems like seven months long? Who wants to go first? I'll go first. So, we all know that we need to make this month last so much more, right? And there's only so much food that can, that can be eaten for the month. My plan is, you put more karamong in the food. Because once you eat it, then you stop eating. <laughs> And then you're just like, ah, I'll eat it later. When you're hungry, then I must eat it. But I'm gonna. So you make food last longer because it tastes. <laughs> That's the that that makes sense. I've been thinking about this. Cole, do you wanna go? Uh, yeah, I'll go. First of all, I just wanna say, in this corner, I look like that sign language guy. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, January. Uh, they say January. Don't worry, it's almost over. People say so long. It's not that long. You were just irresponsible, right? Your child now doesn't have school uniform, he has to go in his church clothes to school. <laughs> you were irresponsible. Your child's wearing a Nevada brookie. <laughs> yeah, he's problem solving, but you must solve the problem. Let's go. I won't solve your problem. <laughs> Kenny, you are. Okay, straight up. Sell your kidney. January is <laughs> <January's laughs> not taking prisoners, people. Pret is a hundred rand. Tax it into wine book is almost twenty rand. Don't be selfish. You have to for a reason. Put it on gum tree, put it on OLX, you get your problem solved. Sell your kidney straight up. Wait, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Can I just say selling your kidney in January is the worst thing? Who is gonna buy a gepasta kidney? Because you know December you'll party your um, your kidney for sin. He's got a point. Who's gonna buy blue kidney? Science! Have you, ever, have you ever bought a steak and kidney pie? <laughs> yes, that's human. Exactly. That's you human. That's human. You are selling the kidneys in January. A fried kidney. And because of that, can you win? You bought a fried kidney. <laughs> Don't eat steak and kidney pies. <laughs> We're back out of those. Why is our kidney so expensive? Is steak and kidney so cheap? <laughs> and welcome back. We're back with our first game of the new year, which is things you can say about your brai, but not about your girlfriend. Mmm. Ah, that's almost an old old then. <laughs> Yo, wait, I need a dope before I start. <laughs> nah, this must still pink inside. Oh, I need that one. <laughs> Yo, nah, I like a liquor thick sausage. <laughs> <laughs> if it's burning, just throw some water on it. <laughs> Whose thigh is this? Whose thigh is this? <laughs> you know, when it comes to eating out, I'm an amateur bunner, but I'm a master biter. Oh shit! <laughs> oh no, nah, no, nah, help yourself. Someone take some baraka down with you. <laughs> Can we go? Hmm? What do you think? Is that right? Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> right, Owens, bring the wood through this way. <laughs> is that, um, that white stuff on your lip, is that coleslaw? The fat is my favorite part. <laughs> Nah, no, I man, take the skin off. <laughs> yeah, and I just lied for with horse. <laughs> you can wipe the sauce off, the legs are sticking together. Oh shit. <laughs> what? Nah, not pink enough. <laughs> Let me see that tongs. <laughs> Baby, that tongue, the tongue, tongue, tongue. Nah, I man, now I'm gonna stink again. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, I'm, I'm not eating that. <laughs> Is that your pork belly? Oh, shit. Oh, now nah, you got the fuck the buck, eh? <laughs> Is this tomato sauce? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Nah, the skin is making me nar. <laughs> and that's it for this segment. Uh, let us know who you think won it round. <laughs> Welcome back. We're back with segment two, which is worst things to say after sex. Um, 
the Chamber of Secrets has been opened. <laughs> World star! <laughs> Loose like a goose. <laughs> so, um, do you come here often? Oh, <laughs> you didn't. <laughs> Mandela! Uh, so, were you off to now? <laughs> <laughs> yes, Master will be pleased with me. <laughs> now, KG, will you, will you follow me back, man? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you should have come to it prior earlier. Um, so, uh, is your sister seeing anyone? <laughs> <sighs> I have to put it in my diary. Uh, went down to two stars now. <laughs> <laughs> and you're pregnant now. Ah, <laughs> uh -uh, no kissing. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, if you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe to my channel. <laughs> on my social media. Subscribe, like, give me five stars. Yo. Yo, look here. So his name is Gabriel and he'll be here in two minutes. <laughs> I hope you don't mind I was live tweeting this whole thing, right? <laughs> you know what? You are actually better than your sister. <laughs> okay, check here. But are you my real auntie? <laughs> Second cousins isn't cousins! <laughs> uh, check here. Fun fact. They say 80% of people have the HPV virus. That's true, that is. <laughs> And I call that the Cape Cobra. <laughs> <laughs> Look, when I said I'm gonna pull out, I went my car. <laughs> Babe, it's okay. You don't have to come every time. <laughs> Toby sword fight. <laughs> And thank you, that is the episode. Let us know who won and even some more suggestions of what we should do. Thank you to Mr. Cole Weber, Yasubans, Kieran Davids, and Samuel Bye!